Hello everybody! In this video tutorial I will show you how the GE Plus parametric study can be further expanded by using the Energy Plus macro program. Before I move to an example I will introduce the EP macro program as well as a few macro commands which will be used in the example. EP macro program increases the flexibility of the Energy Plus input files. It has been designed for advanced users who are already familiar with Energy Plus IDF files and want to prepare input manually. All details about the EP macro can be found in the Energy Plus documentations, in particular in the auxiliary programs document. Some of the most important EP macro features are listed here. Two of them are particularly important for the GE Plus since they offer more flexibility in designing the parameters. Incorporating external files containing pieces of IDF into the main Energy Plus input stream means that we can define a block of code in the building model and use it as one parameter in the GE+. Defining a block of input with parameters and later referencing this block allows us to use one search tag to change multiple values at different locations. The EP macro program capabilities are triggered by using macro commands. Macro comments differ from other Energy Plus comments by having a double hash as a prefix. Two macro comments will be used in the following example, include and file prefix. The include macro command, followed by the name of the external file, takes the Energy Plus code stored in the external file and places it right after the command line in the original input file. The file prefix macro command specifies a path to the folder where the external file is stored. It is recommended to use absolute path to the folder location, however, the relative path can also be used. If the relative path is used, it is relative to the location of the original input file. Ok, now we can proceed with the example. I received several emails in which users ask how the GE Plus can be used to set up a phase change materials parametric study. So here is the one way of doing it. I'll use one of the Energy Plus example files, cont fd1 zone perch air auto size with pcm.idf file. To specify a phase change material in the Energy Plus, two Energy Plus objects have to be defined, material and material property phase change. Both objects have to have the same name which is later used in the construction object. G plus parameter in the phase change material parametric study is actually the whole material property phase change energy plus object. Assuming that several materials having a different temperature enthalpy sets of inputs are going to be analyzed, which leads us to the first step, and that is to create external files with the material property phase change block of code. The second step is to delete a material property phase change block of code from the original input file. And the third step is to open to GE Plus, incorporate macro commands in the original input file, create GE Plus project and run parametric study. I'll move now from the presentation to the screen recording. Here is my working folder. There are three files and one subfolder in it. One is the Chicago weather file which I copied here just for the convenience. Another is the RVI file where we need to specify the outputs we want to be extracted from the ISO file. I selected these three outputs. Bear in mind that the output variables have to be defined in the Energy Plus input file. The third file is the Energy Plus input file. As already mentioned, Cont FD1 zone perch air auto size with PCM.IDF file. Since we are going to use EP macro commands, the IDF extension has to be replaced with the IMF extension. Subfolder PCM files is the place where I store the external files. Since there are four files, I'll call them type1, type2, type3, and type4.idf. These file names are actually the parameter in the study and I will create a search tag in the GE Plus to mark these four files. 
In each of these four files is the piece of Energy Plus code, which will be imported into the original input file. As you can see, it is the Material Property Phase Change Energy Plus object, which has been copied from the original input file, and that means that it has to be removed from the original input file. Here is the phase change material, and here is the material property phase change object, which I will delete now. And here are two construction objects, which has a phase change material layers. I will save the file, close it, and open the G+. First, I will select the three input files required by the G+, weather file, Energy Plus template and RVI file. Weather file is Chicago. IMF file. And my.rvi file. By opening the Energy Plus input file in the text editor, we can modify it to include the required macro commands. The first macro command is the file prefix, which actually set up the path to the external files. Double hash file prefix. We can copy the address of the PCM files folder and paste here. We can use the absolute path or just the relative path. The second macro command is the include. We have four external files, which represents four simulation scenarios, type 1 to type 4 files, which means that we can create the search tag instead of the number. Search tag can be type, for example, so it is going to be type, then search tag type, dot IDF. This is our parameter, and we can give it a name, PCM the description, PCM type, search tag is a type, the values are 1 to 4 with step 1. So we have to save the energy plus file and to save the G plus project. And we can validate the project. Validation is successful. There are four jobs identified. Now we can go to the execution tab. Working with the Energy Plus version 7.1. Here is the, our working directory. And we can start the simulation. Here are the outputs. Three CSV files created by the GE Plus. And the individual scenario output folders. Which means that we have a fully working G plus project. Thank you for watching this tutorial and if there are any questions feel free to ask on the gplus.services at gmail.com.